ever wondered what the best Yonex poly is? Well, wonder no more. Because we've got every single one and we're gonna put them through their paces. So we have nine V-Core 100s with nine different Yonex poly strings in them and we're gonna test them all. Did you know that's every <coughs> single Yonex poly string? I did. Including one that's not even released yet. That's very exciting. That's, that's, Joe, that's the one that we helped develop. We did help develop it. Mm, um, this is too many rackets for us to test. Yeah, I'm way too unfit and it's far too hot in here. Yeah, so let's find someone. About him? No. No, no, not him. So everybody, this is Amelie, and Amelie is, well, how do you describe yourself? Pro player? Wannabe pro aspiring player? Pro. Aspiring pro player. And what better person to help us test all these rackets? So there you go, you take those. Uh, Amelie's gonna be putting all these rackets through their paces with their with all different strings. So what do you actually use? I use the V-Core. And what string have you got? Polyswell Rev. So one of these is strung with Polyswell Rev, so we'll see if you can pick it out of the whole mix. We also have a brand new string in there that no one's used yet. So we're gonna see if we can find a better string for you, a string that we can change your mind, tempt you. We're gonna do like a little winner stays on type vibe um, to see which one you think is best. Yeah, sounds good. Are you up for the, up for the challenge? For yeah. Excellent. Uh, so we're gonna get on court. Ben's gonna feed you some tough balls. Okay. We're gonna put you through your paces and put the strings through their paces and to see which is the best Yonex string. Sounds good. Okay, so the first string uh, Amelie's got here, I don't want her to hear, is Polytor Spin. Let's see how she gets on. Let's go. Okay. All right, Amelie, come over, come over. So that first one, good? Yeah, it seems good. Yeah? All right, so it's winner stays on. It's the first one. Do we think it deserves its place on the throne? I think I'll give a different one again. Oh, it's not even making it not even making it onto the throne. Uh, so fine. All right, it's off. So the the dampener comes off, so we know. Uh, and we're moving on to racket number two. Again, I'll tell you all what it is once Amelie's out of earshot. So there can be no foul play. It's a fair test. All right, so this string is the brand new one. This is Yonex's new Polytor Drive Soft. So that was racket and string number two. Does that deserve at least a holding place on the throne? Yeah. It does. That's excellent news. Uh, so we found uh, the first potential new string for Amelie here. Um, and so I can say now this is the new one. Oh, it is the new one. Yeah, it is the new one. Uh, this is Polytor Drive Soft. Uh, so this is our current throne sitter. And we'll see if the next one here can overthrow it. Let's get that dampener on for you again. Make sure it's all the same. All right, there you go. So. Uh, string number three, Emily is testing. Uh, this is Yonex's know, probably most popular string. It's Polytor Pro. Some nice striking with that one. All right, here you go. So that was string number three. Now, does it usurp? the previous new Polytor Drive okay. Soft. Okay, I'm gonna stick with the new. Thing. Sticking with the new Polytor Drive Soft. Now I can tell you, this is Yonex's most popular string. This is Polytor Pro. Okay. Uh, so interesting that that new Tor uh, Pure Drive Soft, uh, Amelie prefers. All right, onwards we go. So we can discard Polytor Pro. Out it goes. And then we bring this next one. Now, for those eagle-eyed viewers at home, you'll know this colour string and you'll know exactly what it is. Emily, do you know what string that is from the colour? <laughs> Excellent. Uh, off you go. Uh, and I can tell you all that she's now got a polytort air. So this is the softest, lightest string. Uh, so we'll see how she gets on with it. Nice. Each time I feel like the quality of tennis is better. I don't know whether it's warmed up or maybe the strings are getting better. Who knows? So, Emily, what did you make of, was that string number five? I've kind of lost count. I don't know. <laughs> um, but 
I felt I had a bit more control on the bullies there, so I think I might switch to this one. Interesting. So this is uh, Polytor Air. Um, so it's actually my favourite one, so I'm kind of pleased that it's uh, made its way to the, the top. So unfortunately, the brand new Polytor Drive Soft is out and it's been replaced by Polytor Air. All right, but onwards we go. We've still got many more to do. Where am I putting the winner? Here it is in the middle. Goodbye, Polytor Drive Soft. And hello. The next one. Here we go. Good luck. Uh, this racket she now has is Polytor Drive. So she liked the soft version, the new one. Uh, this is the normal drive version. All right, again, some nice striking. Uh, what do you think compared to the I'm air? Still gonna stick, with the air. stick with the air. Interesting. So this was Polytor Drive, which is the so the one you like. The new one is obviously the softer version of this, but air is still softer. So maybe Emily's a big soft string fan. Uh, but there we go. So Polytor Air stays. Uh, in contention as number one. Uh, this is your next string. So again, let's pass that dampener on. Discard Polytor Drive. The, it's like the graveyard of champions on the floor. And here we go. Good luck. Uh, this next racket that Emily has is Polytor Fire. There we go, so remember, that was Polytor Fire. So let's see if Polytor Fire can usurp and take over Polytor Air. But he's really fitting those feeds in on the volleys now. So I have the current throne sitter here, I have Polytor Air. Amelie, come over. Does Polytor Air get overtaken? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> uh, now you can see some of the outcome of those shots weren't ideal. Um, that was Polytor Fire. All right, so fire is out, air is in. There we go, see you later, fire. On to the trash heap. Okay, so racket number seven is the Polytor Strike. Oh, it's crisp hitting with this one. Very crisp. Oh, could we have a new potential string on the horizon that was very nice hitting indeed Emily come over now obviously you have Polytor Air yeah. what do you think of I think it's time to dethrone it time to dethrone you don't want to retest it no, you're happy no. so this was a Polytor Strike uh, strikingly good apparently uh, so here we go uh, Polytor Strike our new throne sitter so let's uh, so goodbye Polytor Air in the bin. All right, what's this going on next? Here we go. String number eight is all ready to go. Are you ready? You're not too tired? I'd be knackered by now. <laughs> all right, Polytor 8. And now this is, uh, this is Amelie's string. This is Polytor Rev. So let's see how she gets on with her string. Obviously a slightly different racket. These are hundreds. She normally uses a 98. So will that change how she feels about the string? That was very close to hitting Joseph. <laughs> Again, some very nice striking with that one. Will the Polytor strike remain on the throne? Emily, come on in. Keep on coming. There we go. So we had Polytor Strike as number one. Is it dethroned? I might have to retry it just to see. We, we're doing a redo. It's so close between uh, Polytor Strike and the unknown string that we're not going to say what it is. So, all right, we're going to go back. We're going back to the throne, the pole sitter, to see if it was a fluke. But clearly, the strings are in Amelie's head now. She's down the rabbit hole. Here we go, so that was interesting because this is her string. So will she decide to switch over to Polytor Strike? All right, our current throne sitter is having a second attempt. Let's go. Yeah. 
<laughs> I could see that coming a long way off. <laughs> and no, Joe does not get danger money. Very clean indeed. So interestingly, come on Emily, come over. I'll share my observations and see if you concur with your feelings. Yeah. So from what I can see, I feel like you're getting less spin yeah. with that one. But maybe the actual strikes were a bit crisper. Yeah, I agree with you. It's like tough. when you were flatting out and it was lower, I think yeah. that was nice, but you get a bit more shape yeah. and spin. Yeah, like I'm gonna have to stick the switch to that. Switch. Yeah. Uh, so annoyingly, this is her current string of choice. It is. <laughs> Polly Torre, but she could tell from the colour. We should have painted them or something. Uh, all right, so here we go. Polly Rev currently on the throne. And we have one more. Uh, so I need to pick that one up. So goodbye, Polly strike. Uh, a close, but uh, near second. So Rev is there. And now our dark horse of the competition. This will be very interesting indeed. Here we go. String number nine. Can it dethrone Emily's current string of choice? Rev. Uh, so this final string here is Polytor Tough. Very nice striking indeed. So, Polytor Rev, our current throne sitter. What did we think of final string number nine? I feel like those last two are very close in competition, but I'm gonna have to be loyal to my string. Yeah, well, and I think that's, so this is actually Polytor Tough. Um, so it's really durable and really stiff. So again, I wasn't surprised that you actually didn't, interesting, you started off liking the softer ones, yeah. didn't really like the middle ones, and then liked uh, the other ones at the end again. Um, so yeah, again, it was similar to strike and like the flat contacts and like the heaviness of it yeah. was really nice, but you definitely get a little bit more action yeah. and variety out of, out of Rev. So there we go. We tried, we tried uh, to change Emily's string of choice, but we have failed, uh, unlike, unlike us at PH, but we have failed. Uh, so we'll be sticking uh, with Polytor Rev. Boring. So yes, Emily has chosen her current string. We thought, oh, if we'll get nine strings, mix them all together, chuck in a new one, she'll be none the wiser. But I think maybe the colour of Rev gave it away. And, and to be fair, watching you actually strike the balls, I think it probably was uh, the right string. Yeah. yeah, I just felt more variety with what I could do with the ball. Okay. Interesting, yeah, I thought with the slightly stiffer one, so interesting, I was surprised that you didn't mind tough because um, it is very tough. Mm. Um, but you did like strike, uh, which I could also understand, especially when you were flattening it out and going a bit harder at the ball. But as you were saying, maybe when you need that little bit of slice, bit yeah. of feel, bit of loop, and a bit more variety, which you are going to need when you play against me a little bit later, <laughs> granted. So is, is that what you're looking for from a string? Are you looking for, to give you a bit of everything? Yeah, yeah. definitely. I think then I can try something and hopefully it will succeed and yeah. I won't have to necessarily modify my own technique for that. Yeah, cool. Adaptability. Yeah. Adaptability. That's what we want to see That's from everybody absolutely. on the tennis court. So that process I think was really good. Yeah, it was fun. Um, so you don't often get to do that, A, to get nine rackets all exactly the same. Yeah. Um, that's one of the reasons why we chose Yonex as the brand to do this because all the rackets are always so close um, in terms of their tolerance and their manufacturing is so good. So with those nine rackets, we could obviously put those nine different poly strings and all at the same tension. Um, and it's something that I guess people at home probably would unlikely get the chance yeah. to do. Um, so it is very worthwhile to go through. And obviously, have you ever managed to do that before across that many strings? Not nine strings, no. So, it's quite an unusual test. It's quite a great test to do. Um, so if you're at home thinking, oh God, let's do something similar to that. 
Now, there are some ways to do it. If you've got a couple of frames the same, um, then obviously you can buy a couple of strings, try them, and you can do your own sort of winner stays on, but over probably a much longer period. Um, it was, we were very fortunate today to have all nine strings and nine rackets, all freshly strung and ready to go. Um, so it was, thank you very much, Emily, for helping us do it. Glad you had a nice time. Um, and there we go. So that was our process um, for you guys at home. If you'd like to try out some strings, remember you can buy them from us, um, all the different ones we've tested today, uh, to see if you can find your new favorite string, which we couldn't for Emily, but there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget to follow, don't forget to subscribe, share with your friends. You never miss a thing from PH Tennis. And Emily. <laughs> <laughs>